I got a, a couple ninja girls with me here. Ninja. Hi ninja. Yeah. Times two. Hail Rider. Vader chick. And we are in Ormond Beach at the start of the loop. What is the address here? Like 1 North Beach Street? Yeah, so if everybody was wondering, I was wondering where the loop was. Everybody talked about the loop, and there's no address for the loop. So we researched it, and we found out that it's 1 North Beach Street. You start here. There's this little park. I don't know what it's called, but it's across from Sushi Fuji. Sushi Fugo? Sushi Fuji. Fugo. I don't know, but we're in Ormond Beach. We're going to do the loop today. A mixture of every type of Florida landscape that you could find. Palm trees, prairies, swamp. We might see some alligators, but I think we're going to be protected on our ride today by this metaphysical ornament. That's What is that floating in there? Opal. Opal. And it's suspended in water. Glass. Glass? Okay. And is that some kind of aura of protection? If that'll help us on our ride, then absolutely. Okay, fantastic. And then uh, after the loop, we'll find out what other mischief and mayhem we'll get into. Are you going to be, you know, oh, I know why she's not lifting her helmet. She didn't put her makeup on yet. No. Okay. We'll do a face reveal for Vader Chick. And, and I promise you, it won't be like Blockhead's face reveal where it took like five years. We'll just, we'll do it in the next segment. All right, so we're paired, right? We're paired. But we're not paired here. <laughs> Hello! I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay. Well, Senna, fail. I guess we'll have to get Cardo. Hey, Cardo, if you're watching, sponsor me. We need you. Yeah. We need you. Yes, bye. 1,000. <gasps> 250. <laughs> Here's my potatoes coming, baby. Yeah, the Halifax River. But the loop will take us across the Halifax River on the right. And then we'll uh, take a turn up here and get into some other cool looking landscapes. But the loop is definitely a location that you want to hit. When you're in Daytona, you know, Sturgis has a lot of spread out territories that you can ride at Sturgis, and it's all about riding at Sturgis. And Daytona, not so much. So this is the one scenic route that everybody talks about doing when you're at Bike Week. And that's what we're gonna do this morning. Yeah, and during Bike Week, there's so many bikes out that nobody does the biker wave. So. You don't have to worry about sticking your hand out going, hey, two down, you know, don't worry about it. Exactly. So here at the Tomoka Outpost, we got people hanging out and starting on the loop. So that's a good reference point, Tomoka Outpost, as you uh, organize with your buddies where to start. That's another alternative. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous, look at this. Boardman Lane and this is beautiful this hammock of palm trees and oak trees and all sorts of good stuff
Oh, this is nice riding in here. You got, you got some curvy roads. Yeah, this uh, road, if you if you come here not on bike week, and it's kind of like a tail of the dragon situation where you get there on a Monday morning and no, nobody's here. But we're on we're on peak morning day. It's Saturday morning, so. So, drawbridge, that's a cool thing. You don't see too many drawbridges these days. Face reveal. What? Face reveal. Face reveal? Face reveal. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> so, as soon as we get over the bridge, we'll be kind of on the beach side. It's pretty cool, all these guys taking your picture. I don't know, right? I think they're like... $5. They're five? I thought they were ten. Turn around. Hey, look behind you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Pants are the best. Amazon. What's wrong with my ass? I get an honorable participation trophy. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, we want to turn right up here on A1A. Beachfront Avenue. How's it go? Girls are hot wearing less than bikinis. Yo, man, let's get out of here. Where to your mother? Yeah, there's the ocean. And here we are, A1A. That is the Atlantic Ocean. Today's surf report is three to four feet semi-glassy with offshore winds. <laughs> Yeah, definitely some rideable sets out there. But we're surfing pavement on the loop. So those guys were putting the two fingers down because it was two chicks. If I, if I, yeah, if I was out front, I'd be like, whatever. We can, but you gotta get Vader chicks attention. Please keep off our dunes. Yes, yeah, let's keep off our dunes. Uh, keep, keep off means keep off. But I'm not gonna step on. I'm gonna be polite. All right, group photo. Everybody's got their helmets down, their masks down. It's, it's like Power Rangers. Here, here with the Power Rangers at the beach. Did you want a snack? We're gonna take a ride down. We're gonna go down Main Street. Oh, you got your photo taken again, a1aphotos.com. Lots of people taking your photograph and opportunities to get you on your bike. You want Dollar General food or keep going? She wants to get some food. What did you want? A beer. A beer? You're ready for a beer? Yeah. It's beer 30. Hey, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. All right, well, while the ladies are getting provisions at Publix, let's rewind to last night's festivities at the Burning Bike event. Hey, look who it is. Hi. It's Hail Rider. Hello. She made it from North Florida. Finally. How was the trip? It was not bad. It went by pretty quick. It awesome. Was, yeah, pretty smooth. We're all the way on our Ninja 250. Booger. Booger? She calls booger. it booger. Yes. What do you call it booger? It's green. Okay. So green. Yeah, it is green. Yes. That's awesome. So we're here at Burning Bike. Let's uh, show everybody what's going on. There's the Burning Bike right there. And they got the Wall of Death right there. Yep, that's pretty cool. But I would assume you're really hungry right now. I'm starving. So let's go get some food. Yes. All right, now we have food. Delicious. I got the uh, shrimp basket with the, what was it, the boom boom sauce? I was gonna say, tell them about that boom boom sauce. You got the boom boom sauce. Uh -huh. 
And then what you get? Mostly eating chicken tenders and french fries with boom boom sauce. But uh, check out our combinations. I brought a couple chairs on the back of the soft tail on the luggage rack, just strapped them to. And we're just surrounded by bikes. Every direction there's bikes somewhere. It's a mini Cooper. <laughs> but bikes in every direction. Mmm. Lukewarm. Okay, this is Hail Rider. I've hijacked the camera. Kenny is <laughs> doing things. You took the words out of my mouth. I hijacked the camera. I don't know how to work the flash, so I'm just going to use this uh, big light to my advantage. I think I want to name him Oswald. Look at all those motorcycles. But it's Hail Rider. I'm back at Bike Week. Whee! So you're memorializing a name on the... Oh yeah. Yeehaw. Now you know what, the, what you're supposed to be writing is someone that's passed on. What the hell? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me that before I wrote that? That's okay. Why didn't you tell me that before I... Wrote... But so all of these names are names of loved ones that have passed on. Oscar. Oscar is our beloved cat. May he rest in peace. Alright. Alright. Props to my parents. Yeah. Well, here we are. And we've commenced people watching. Yes. This is the best part of the evening. This is like a county fair type situation. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, he's got a fair run, so. Yeah, that makes sense, right? There's another bubble. There's more bubbles. Oh. Hey, we're getting bubbleized. What do you think about this motorcycle without tires on this tightrope right here? I'm trying to figure out how it's working. Just how he's balancing. He's counterbalancing. He's counterbalancing. Yeah. And then I guess he just hooks it up on the thing. Right. He's still standing still. The secret to that motor this motorcycle, it's. It's a Harley Twin Cam. Okay. It's a Twin Cam B motor. Okay. Which uh, is counterbalance. They have counterbalancers in there. If you didn't have the Twin Cam B engine, it's a Twin Cam 88B. Are you spitting facts right now? Or yeah, the, up? in the comments, let me know. <laughs> Am I not talking about a legitimate Harley engine? And that's the only explanation that I have on why this bike is not falling off the steel rope. I feel like it's like, they has got the little person hanging down below it too. Maybe the, the engine. Oh, the person down below? Yeah, I think so. The center of gravity is way lower. I don't know, but people are giving their hard-earned money. To sit there and go up and down the string. $30. $30. $30 to ride this rope. That's how much I spent on food tonight. Well, you could have had that experience. You could have been hungry. And starving. And starving, but had had the exhilarating experience of going on a steel cave all the way across and all the way back. I'm glad I got the chicken tender basket and the drink. <laughs> And we got an outfit change. Vader Chick with the new Kenny Quest show. Cafe Racer t-shirt. Pretty cool. Hello. Yeah, she can call in on her cell phone. We have to do a three-way call. A menage a qual. I don't know, it might be too noisy. What? Oh, she's gonna listen to music. She don't want to hear our asses talk. We got a traffic light situation coming up. I think I'm going to reach for it. <laughs> you know, reach for it. We're going to reach for it. Problem is my clutch hand, so I can't. I got to go in neutral first. See if I can go into neutral. I'm sorry. Try again. Find neutral. Login accepted. <laughs> I did it! I did it!
<laughs> All right, everybody's touched the butt now. F is for those flirty eyes I see. U is for the unseen smile you saved for me. C is captivating the love we have so liberating. K is for the kiss I stole from you exhilarating Fuck, I really wanna get it on with you Fuck, let's make some whoopee, that is what we'll do And that's how you do that Thank you, thank you That's Main Street on Bike Week, baby. Woo! All right, we're gonna head over to the Speedway now. See what's happening at the Speedway. <laughs> and we'll see you there. If you have a chance, you should get to the Speedway and come to the Harley-Davidson compound. It's always on the far east end of the complex here at the Speedway, and they have everything that you need for Harley-Davidson. All the newest models on display, all the newest gear, all the newest Screaming Eagle performance parts on display, with specialists there to answer your questions. You can try things on, you can get on a bike, they can change out handlebars. They also have tests and demo rides available all throughout Bike Week. Hop on the bike of your dreams, take it for a cool unguided test ride around the speedway. Highly recommend it. It's a great demo course. You can get some speed going for sure. One tip is if you're going to do the demos, get here early. It's not the line itself. It's just you got to wait for the demos to come back. And if you're in the afternoon, you're going to be waiting longer than if you're in the morning. She Tree Army in effect. Another yeah. rap star official in Daytona. And we also got a Uncle Bo Gator sighting. It's a it's a Brap Star reunion, Uncle Bogator. What's up, nephews? What's going on, man? How you doing? Good, dude. Enjoying your time here in the booth? Oh, no. <laughs> the novelty wore off at the day two. Oh, okay. All right. 2024 Soft Tail Standard in Billiard Gray. This is the most affordable Big Twin Harley that you can buy. And I'm excited to jump on it. I've actually not ridden... The soft tail standard. I've ridden the street bob, but I have not ridden the soft tail standard. Woo! Nice. It's got that nice confirmed clank as you shift into gears. Some would say it's agricultural, but I call it character. And it's something that Harley Davidson's been doing for a long, long time. However, they are eliminating that feeling, that transmission clank into first, second, third, you know, just out of some of the new models. Uh, the higher end models in their line, but I appreciate this. This is gonna be a stripped down Harley Davidson. It's it's something that if you are a fan of the 90s Harleys and the early twin cams, the way they were set up with chrome and black, you're gonna love this style of motorcycle. Easy to turn into the corners. Very manageable ride. Just point it in the direction you want to go and turn that throttle. And that 107 will go. Woo! Yeah, it's not a slouch for power. You got plenty of power. If you're a newer rider, this is a fantastic entry into Harley's product line. And if you're a more experienced rider, it's not going to put you to sleep. You just duck in the corners. Let her rip. Potato chip. buddy 90 miles per hour fourth gear and we still got two gears to go <laughs> there's actually one extra mode on this bike Kenny oh nice it's track mode but it's locked out right now because we're on doing demo rides right on public streets yeah so you know right but the bike does have a track mode okay, okay understood we are on the road glide st 2024 and it is a beautiful machine it's an iconic shark nose fairing of course the shark nose fairing is fixed to the frame not fork mounted like the street glide now let's get this into sport mode Roar 
our baby of the eagle. All right, demo rides are done. Now I have to find the girls. I think they're over at the Yamaha demo riding some Japanese rice rockets. They're so cute. What's Hi. up? Hi. What'd y'all do? What'd y'all ride? MT09, MT07. Yeah? I want it. You want it? I want it. I you want, want the MT07? I want it. Awesome. What's the uh, best thing about the MT09? I mean, the torque, the, the way it just handles, everything is just, it's seamless. Seamless. What do you think about the MT07? Everything she just said. <laughs> so if you're wondering if there's uh, facilities at the Speedway, there are. But I noticed that there's a washing station. You can wash your hands. Here's the, here's the review of their facilities. What do you think of the facilities? Well, I went to one, and then I did not go to that one, and I went to the next one, and that one was okay. All right. So, they have hand wash stations. That's nice. They don't usually have that. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. I guess three years in, I'm a professional bike weaker. Yeah. Right? Can For we say this? Yeah. So instead of having rally food at the Speedway, we went to Hooligans. Hooligans. To get some real food and some drinks. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Is it good? It's very good. Okay. He says we're very good. Let's see what Hail Riders got. Let's go find for him. Mashed potato. Mashed potatoes, French dip. French dip? Yeah. Look at that cheese. The ashes. The ashes. The ashes. The ashes. The meat. <laughs> the potatoes. The <laughs> French dip. The French. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wings, eh, kind of dried out. And as for hot, they're not hot. And now for something hot and wet. So we're at the Winner's Pub, and we're gonna show some love to Faster Than Your Mom brand. This is a real biker bar. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna see what a real biker bar experience is. You know, you have a lot of options here in Daytona Beach. And of course, the stuff over there in Ormond, that's, you know, Big time names, Iron Horse Saloon, all that stuff, right? We're now, we're in Port Orange. We're down at the bottom of the barrel, and we're gonna see how they keep it real down here in Port Orange. At the Scrublands of Bike Week. Yes, let's go check it out. does me every time. You want to get in the tank? No. Yeah. Fuck no. Look at that water. Look at that water. Look at that water. Look at that water. Hey. Dirty water I want to We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Woohoo! A little too much? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit too much? A little bit. A little bit. How about some beers? Sounds good. So one thing we learned is that you get cheaper alcohol at these bars. They don't charge as much. So we got three drinks. How much was it? Eight dollars. Eight dollars for three drinks. So that's not bad. All right, looks like that's going to wrap it up here from the Winner's Pub and the Faster Than Your Mom five-year anniversary. Shout out to my man Mike. Congratulations on your fifth year anniversary, and I wish you many, many more. If you're interested in Faster Than Your Mom gear, go check them out. Links below in the description. They have some cool merchandise. I love it. It's got personality. But before I leave, maybe I should get a bike wash. Check this out. Mike has got it going on. He's got the bike wash babes here. But Peter Chick, Hill Rider, and I are going to make our way to Main Street, Daytona, and check it out at night. We checked it out during the day today. We'll see what it looks like at night. Probably a total different proposition. And it should be fun and exciting. Who knows what's going to happen. Universal 
stuntman. Somehow doing bike repair. Mobile motorcycle repair. Are there Allen keys? Yeah, the Allen keys are right here. Oh, get a foot this gotcha. thing. Can Harley Tools fix Japanese finest? This one's too big. This one's too small. That's what he said, right, guys? Because of gay? Uh, that's right. I thumb tightened them for the most part. No, thank God for that. Yeah, well, so the, those are metric and the Harleys don't fit in them, right? Yeah, um, once again. Um, yeah, I guess. There we go. Ha ha! Thank God for not doing things all the way. So Vader Chick went to park and all of a sudden the bike just died and now it won't turn back on. So we're going to see if we can fix it with our jump pack and our cruise tools kit. And the positive and plug negative stuff's in here. Okay. Fucking bullshit battery on this goddamn bike. Is it a newer, newer battery? Or? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It was, but that's... when we installed the lights on it, the... Did you take it off? Take or what unplug off? the lights? Not yet, no. Oh, you think the lights are draining it? Yeah, because yeah. I turned them on just for a minute, but I think it's because I was sitting and I wasn't causing the battery to keep recharging itself. Okay. That's why it, it killed it. Gotcha. So, LED light kit might be uh, draining the battery. Yeah. What does that mean? It's charging. Did it die while you were riding? No, it died after it stopped, um, after I turned it off. Okay, all right. On accident. But I think it's the lights. It doesn't need water or anything? It's a maintenance-free battery? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it needs rice wine. Rice wine? Rice wine makes these go way, way better. <laughs> American gas doesn't really help it too much. Gotcha. Success. Let it go for a minute. Really? Yeah, really. You sure about that? You sure about that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Harley riders uh -huh. help out ninja riders. All right, Noco Boost to the rescue. Links down below if you'd like to get one. <laughs> Sponsor! At the Sonic Drive.